for everything. You know, what are your thoughts about uh, jumping into the season? Uh, I can't wait to get started. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, everyone knew my situation and what was going on. And um, you know, right now, I'm, uh, I'm here and I'm just focused on playing and getting back to where I was and, and uh, you know, trying to do the best I can to uh, hopefully you know, uh, get that call up or get the chance back in each other. How did you maintain your conditioning and then try, try to keep yourself ready in that, in that regard? Well, I mean, it's a lot of work. It, you, you can never really uh, be game ready until you play a game. And, um, you know, first period, I was a little tired, but. I, I got back into it in the second, third, and you know when you're at home, you're just skating with junior teams there. You're getting ice by yourself. You're you know doing some bag skates. You're doing whatever you can uh, to try to simulate a game. And you know, like I said, nothing simulates a game better than a game. So it's uh, it's uh, fun fun to be here. How, how, how difficult um, was the uh, waiting out the contract situation? I mean, how much of a toll did that take on you mentally? Um, you know, it, it was very hard for me. Um, there's nothing more than that, that I want to do than play hockey and to sit at home and, and uh, you know watch the exhibition games and, and watch the guys playing that that you should be out there playing with was uh, was very hard for me. And you know, uh, I'm just glad we got something done. And you know, uh, I, I've talked to Darcy and uh, I've talked to Kevin, and you know, there's no hard feelings in, on, on either side. And you know, I'm here now, and um, what's in the past is in the past. We're just gonna try to move forward. Are you close to going anywhere else? I mean, the talks get that far? Or? Um, I, I had a few uh, pretty good offers from overseas, and um, you know, I, at some point I was comp uh, contemplating them. I mean, when you're sitting at home as long as I was, you just want to play off again. You know, uh, we made the decision to uh, to no negotiate with Buffalo, and you know, I, I want to stay in North America. I have nothing against the organization. I, you know, I. I just want to play hockey. I love it here. I, you know, I, Kevin Dean is a great coach, and nothing against anyone in any organization. I just uh, had a few things that need to be sorted out. When you look at this bunch here, I mean, some of the guys you know, some of them you don't. But uh, yeah, you know, when you when you look at this bunch, what do you think? Well, I was I was surprised. I mean, I, I've seen these guys in camp uh, a few years before, and I know some of the guys that came in, like the Larsons, but I just watched them play and. You know, uh, we got some good leaders now. We got some good old guys that have been around and know and know hockey and, and know how to lead a team. And we also got some phenomenal young players. And you know, uh, just watching tonight was my first time being able to see Ennis and, and Byron and these guys in action uh, and be on the ice with them. And I thought they did a tremendous job. And I know it's preseason, but I'm excited to see these guys start the season. Well, obviously, yeah. success. You know, if everybody plays the way they can, you know, success lies ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you can have as many good players as you want, but if you don't work as a team, you're not going to win games. And that, that's uh, what, what Dino's really good at. He's really good at uh, making us work as a unit. And uh, you know, one guy makes a mistake, one guy's there to go for him. If one guy does a good play, it's because someone else made something happen. So uh, we got a great bunch of guys, and just can't wait to start. Good enough.